Right, let's have a look inside. One, two, three, four, five, six screws. Looks like they'd be the important ones. Maybe seven. Just get a magnet to hold the screws. Drop them on the floor. Right, that was two big screws at the top here. The rest all look smaller. A very long one. Different sizes, long one, short one. Another short one. I hate it when they're different sizes because you've got to try and remember it and back in the right place. Another short one. Dropped it on the floor. Right, so are we ready? Oh, that was nice. Nice and easy. So, down the bottom here. Big black blob, which no doubt controls the uh, controls the operation. I was just thinking there wasn't any sound, was there? No, there's no speaker. So it's just this fella that does all the work. Fairly complicatedly. The one I was particularly interested in was the finger straightening out. And we can see we got th these long levers. I expect it'll probably run okay without the cover on. Probably this one might go loose. Let's try it out. Uh, switch it on. There. Press the button and let's see what happens. This is the bit we want to watch. There we go. Yeah, well, that's fairly simple. <laughs> if things can be simple, we've got one rotating cam here to drive this one via a couple of extra little levers but it also is linked to this one which just sort of rocks up and down a bit let's do that again So, yeah, this one, pushing that lever, pushing this one, means that this one moves far more than that one. That one just rocks up and down a little bit. This one moves forwards and backwards quite a bit. That one is not linked to anything, so it just rocks about a bit. It gives the impression of moving. 
and this one has this arm that shoots up in there to straighten it all out. The motor is at this end, driving that gear there, which I think from the looks of it may have a um, clutch on it to protect it. And that gear drives that gear. Trying to see where else. Ah, I see. Right, that one drives that one. That one must go back inside. There must be quite a bit of gearing in there to give us plenty of torque and it ends up driving this one and that gear there which is operating that cam which lifts this arm up and down a bit let's watch this side let's get focused on this side that's gone a bit dark that light help? Not really. Let's try and... That's not too bad. Right, do that again. So we're watching this side. We've got a cam move in there. There's a whole big um, cam that shoots forwards that way to push that up the inside of the finger to straighten it out. So this one, it, this cam or lever is just moving it up and down a bit, whereas that one shooting up the middle straightens it. We'll just say again, that one just is not attached to any um, anything other than just a, a pivot point so it just rocks up and down. This one has got an arm coming all the way through there onto that cam so it goes up and down, up and down at this end and the reverse of it up and down at that end, up and down, down and up, whichever way you want to look at it. And then this one is on a short cam there shorter pivot so it moves further short pivot short lever long movement at this end long lever short movement at this end that's probably confused people so i'll say it again long leverage not much up and down relatively speaking short lever at this end long movement we'll just watch that again Find the button. Right, so this one moves a long way. This one just moves a short way. In fact, that one and that one move about the same. I think they've got the same lever on them, more or less. So they go up and down. They actually go up, up and down out of sequence or opposite this one goes up when that one goes down that one goes up and this one goes down and then at the end that one gets the extra lever shoot up inside to straighten it one last time watching these two I like the way it does the extra little bit at the end to straighten up again. Or to unstraighten, I suppose. 
Yeah, that was nice. I thought it was all going to fall apart when I opened it, but that that was quite relaxing. All right, I'll put that back together. Okay. When you put it down, it presses that button. So mega blue. Uh, www.megablue.com There's actually a, some sort of a date code there. But unless you actually know the secret code, you don't know what it's pointing at I there. But that's not letters of the month. And then up there it's pointing at 15. Could be 2015, maybe not. All right, I'll put it back together. That'd be a nice little Halloween toy as well. Not that it's important, but I'm just guessing that dial on the right goes A to L, which would be 12 letters, so that could be months of the year. So if it's pointing at I, that would be A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, the ninth month, September. And that could be the year, as in 2015. Maybe. Thanks for watching. If you want more information, check down below in the video description. If you like this video, you might like this one up here. And if you want to subscribe, you can check out my channel over here. Up here is my latest video on my channel. And down here is a video playlist associated with the video you've just watched. Thanks again for watching.